Welcome to the online presentation. This is Law and Ethics in Pharmacy Practice. The module code is PST 04208, and this is first uh, second semester uh, for entire level four students. And uh, this is session in number two whereby we are going to see requirements for enlistment, enrollment and registration of pharmaceutical personnel. By the end of this session, students are expected to be able to list requirements for enlistment of pharmaceutical assistants, list requirements for enrollment of pharmaceutical technician, list requirements for registration of pharmacist. I am Mr. Novatus. We start with enlistment of pharmaceutical assistance. This is stipulated under section number 28 of the Pharmacy Act 2011. For a person to be enlisted and uh, practice as a, as a pharmaceutical or the pharmaceutical assistance upon making an application to the pharma, to pharmacy council, should meet the following requirements. Uh, first of all, he or she must hold a certificate, should hold a certificate in pharmaceutical science or any other qualification recognized by the council as being equivalent to a certificate of pharmaceutical science. We want to have a certificate of science in pharmacy. We want to certificate of science in pharmacy. We want to have either have a qualification or have a qualification that is attached to the pharmacy and that is attached to the certificate of ya pharmaceutical science ya ndo la kwanza ah uh, hitaji la pili huyu mtu lazima a comply na au amefanya 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 mazoezi ma, ma, kwa vitendo practical experiences au na experience uh, ya mazoezi kwa vitendo kwa maana kwamba au amefanya field works na mambo mengine ambayo amefanya practically na ministry na na minister na council wajiridhishe kwa kwa mujibu wa sheria kwamba huyo mtu amefuzu na kufaulu practical ex and experience ambazo zinatakiwa kwa mujibu wa wa, wa, wa baraza na na wizara that is he or she has complied with such additional requirements relating to the physician practical experience at the pharmaceutical assistance and the minister may after consultation with the council prescribe by regulation made under the uh, pharmacy act uh, uh, thirdly, he or she is or her professional and general conduct blender him fit, her fit, him, him or her fit and proper to be enlisted. But like, vile vile lazima tamaka leonao na monikano wako jumla, uh, onikani mtambaye yuko vizuli, yuko fit, na uh, ni mtu sahihi wakweza to be enlisted. The, those are requirements which a uh, person a pharmaceutical assistance upon making an application ni lazima azitimize ili kuweza kupata kupata to be enlisted na kuingiza kwenye register ya pharmacia wa saidiz note if a pharmaceutical assistant meet the above requirements and pay the payments of this prescribed fee the registrar will issue a certificate of enlisting in the prescribed form baada kuwa huyu pharmacia msaidizi ametimiza vigezo vyote na akalipa ada ambayo ime, ime ada ambayo ipo kwa mujibu wa sheria ada ambayo ipo uh, ime, ambayo inajulikana na wizara ambayo ni ada maalum ambayo inapangwa na inapangwa na, na, na pharmacy council registrar sasa anachokifanya anakuwa hana option zaidi ya kumpa uh, kumuingiza kwenye enlistment na kumpa cheti cha enlistment certificate of enlisting uh, in the prescribed form after uh, he or she has meet the above requirements and pay the payment of the prescribed fee the registrar will issue a certificate of enlisting in the prescribed form kwa hiyo what was supposed to note here ni kwamba huyu mtakisha akisha timiza vigezo vyote na akalipa fee akalipa ada inayotakiwa a registrar anamengiza kwenye enlisting a register na anampa cheti lakini kitu kingine cha msingi cha kuangalia ni uhusu tarehe ambapo veti na na, na leseni uh, a ambazo leseni zina be expired na huyo mtu anatakiwa alinew uh, 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 alinew uh, na alipe ada ambayo inaita itamfanya yeye apate retention uh, of his name or her name in the list that is every enlisted person shall before the 31st December of every, every each year 
file information to the council in the prescribed manner for the retention of his name in the list and an application shall be accompanied with prescribed retention fee. The council may remove from the list an any a list any enlisted person who does not comply with the prescribed requirements. Kwa hiyo mtu uh, inapofika December 31 anajaza form ambayo inapatikana kwenye website ya council ya Farmers Council. Hiyo form na analipa na ada. Kwa anapokuwa amejaza form na kulipa ada basi anakuwa anapata ana, 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 ana retention. Ina maana anakuwa anaendelea kuwemo kwenye 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 uh, list of enlisted uh, pharmaceutical assistance akiwa hai lengo la kujaza form na kulipa ada ni kwamba uendelee kuwa hai uh, the council may remove from the list any enlisted person who does not comply with the prescribed requirements kwa hiyo hizo zote kama huyu mtu akuzitimiza council inaweza ikamtoa kwenye 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 orodha ya wafamasia wasaidizi maana ni kwamba kama hukulipa fee ya kufanyiwa retention ambao ambao ni mojawapo ya ya requirements ambazo wao zifanya before December uh, 31st December basi council inaweza kutoa kwenye kwenye orodha ya pharmacy wa saidizi kwenye register ya registrar Let's carry on. An applicant aggrieved by the decision of the council under this section may appeal to the minister within, within set days after receipt of the decision. Huyo mtu sasa kama anaona kwamba maamuzi aliyofanya pengine labda amemtoa kwenye 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 enlisting uh, enlisting register anaweza akakata aka rufaa. Anaruhusu akata rufaa ndani ya siku 30 baada ya maamuzi yale kutolewa. Uh, the council tunarudia tena the council may remove from the list any enlisted person who does not comply with the prescribed requirements kwa hiyo kama ukutimiza masharti uh, unaweza ukatolewa kwenye 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 orodha ya wafamasia wasaidizi na kwenye kitabu cha registrar akakutoa uh, tunakuja on requirements for enrollment of pharmaceutical technician requirements for enrollment of pharmaceutical technician uh, section number 24 subsection 1 of pharmacy act of 20 11. A person shall be, it is stipulated that or states that a person shall be entitled upon making an application to the council in the prescribed manner to be enrolled under this section and to offer his service if he satisfies the council that. In section number 29, and we now zoom requirements is na anazo takiwa kwa anazo pharmaceutical technician ili aweze ku be enrolled au kuingizo kwenye enrollment ya registrar. Ah, he or she is a pharmaceutical technician. First of all, he or she must be a pharmaceutical uh, technician who is a holder of a diploma in pharmaceutical science or any other qualification recognized by the council as being equivalent to, the, to a diploma in pharmaceutical science offered in Tanzania. Kwa hui umtu sasa, kwa tumeona kwa mba uh, pharmaceutical assistants, ili aweze kubi enlisted, shaji la kwanza lazima awe na certificate of uh, certificate in pharmaceutical science au awe ana equivalent qualification ambazo zinalingana na certificate in pharmaceutical science kwa hiyo in, in case of, of enrollment of pharmaceutical technician he or she must uh, hold a diploma in pharmaceutical science or any other qualification recognized by the council as being equivalent to diploma in the pharmaceutical science offered in Tanzania kwa the different that huyu wa pharmaceutical technician ana hold diploma pharmaceutical assistant ni lazima awe a hold certificate in pharmaceutical science b he or she has complied with such additional requirements relating to the acquisition of practical experience as a pharmaceutical technician. As the minister may, after consultation with the council, prescribe by regulation made under this act, and his professional and general conduct render him a fit and a proper person to be enrolled. Haya ni marudio kwa mbawi mtuazima afaulu awa mefuzu mafunzo kwa vitendo, uh, lakini vile vile, Kwa mafunzo yawe ya, ya, na, ya, na, ya natambulika na wizara kwa kushirikiana na pharmacy cancer. Lakini vile vile awe na prof, professional yake na general contract imfanya we fit kama tuviona kule awe fit na mtu sahihi wa kubi enrolled. Vile vile tunakuja kuona kwamba uh, an applicant aggrieved by the decision aggrieved by the decision of the council under this section may appeal to the minister within 30 days after receipt of the decision. Ukiona umeonewa kabla ya ndani ya siku 30 na kata rufa. Condition for certificate of enrollment. Uh, section number 25 upon enrollment of pharmaceutical technician on a payment of the prescribed fee the registrar shall issue a certificate of enrollment in the prescribed form. Kwa tumeona kwamba analipa ada 
akishalipada basi anapewa certificate of certificate of enlisted enlisting huyu huyu kwa sababu ni wa diploma yeye baada ya kulipa ada na kufanya masharti mengine anapewa enrollment section 26 subsection 1 Every enrolled person shall before 31st December of which he has filed information to the council in his prescribed manner for the retention of his name in the law to show na kule ah kwamba na na pharmaceutical assistant kila inapofika December na this is applicable to all pharmaceutical personnel haijaishi kama you are a pharmacist haijaishi kama you are pharmaceutical technician haijaishi kama pharmaceutical assistant kinachotakiwa inapofika kabla ya moja Desemba ni lazima ufaili information zako kwa kujaza form ambayo inapatikana kwenye website ya wizara na uitume kule kwa umelipa ada ukishatimiza hayo yote manake wewe ni mfamasia hai wewe ni pharmaceutical technician ambaye ni hai na wewe ni pharmaceutical assistant ambaye ni hai a uh, requirement for registration of pharmacist section 16 of pharmacy, pharmacy act of 2011 this is stipulated under section number 16 hii ndio inazozungumzia uh, requirements for registration of pharmacist hii ndio inazozungumzia namna gani mfamasia ni kitu gani mfamasia mpaka kufikia toa pharmacia ni vitu gani vinavyo watimiza ili uweze kupawa kupewa ile uh, certificate of registration a person shall not be entitled to provide a service as a pharmacist unless he, he is duly registered under this act lazima awe msajiliwa kwa, ku, kwa, ku, kwa kuzingatia sheria hii. A person shall be entitled upon making an application to the council and the prescribed manner to be registered as a pharmacist under this section and offer a service if he satisfy the council that he or she holds a, pharma, a pharmacy degree or any any other qualification recognized by the council as being equivalent to a pharmacy degree. Kwa tuliona diploma, tuliona certificate in pharmacy a uh, ni in, in pharmaceutical science na tukaona huyu diploma ni pharmaceutical science sasa huyu tunakuja tunaona a pharmacist must hold a degree in pharmaceutical science or qualification recognized by the council as being equivalent to a pharmacy degree he or she comply with such additional requirements relating to the acquisition of practical experience as pharmacist uh, huyu sasa anachoenda kufanya uh, ana ana kwenda internship mfamasia kishasoma kishasoma miaka minne uh, unatoka hapa unakwenda kufanya mafunzo kwa vitendo ambayo ni mwaka mzima ambao wanaita internship intern intern pharmacist who intern pharmacist akisha fuzu na fiti kwa mitihani na vigezo ambavyo wanaviangalia wana ambao wanakwenda kusupervise na haya mafunzo yanakuwa supervised by minister of health ikishirikiana pharmacy council kwa hiyo akisha fuzu mafunzo hayo basi anapewa uh, uh, certificate of uh, registration his operation his professional and general contact lender him fit and proper person to be registered as a pharmacist kwa hiyo na hii nayo inamfanya uh, ana ile professional yake na jinsi alivyo na inamfanya awe uh, fit uh, inatakiwa imeonyesha uh, imemfanya awe fit kuweza ku be registered kama mfamasia <coughs> uh, note the registrar shall as soon as practicable and after the council has accepted any person for registration into the into the respective register the respective register in respect of the person the following particulars these are uh, personal particulars ambazo zinaingizwa kwenye register and this these personal particulars is not specific for pharmacist it is applied to all uh, pharmaceutical assistants and pharmaceutical uh, technician kwa hiyo hata pharmaceutical technician ni lazima the, the following information must be filled or uh, must be uh, uh, entered in the in the uh, register na registrar lazima huyu mtu a uh, his or her name and address must be entered in the register in, in the, by the registrar in the register uh, the second one the date of registration the third one his or her qualification status of his registration uh, and uh, such other particular as council may be directed kama nilivyoambia hizi information they are not applicable to pharmacists only they are applicable to all pharmacists uh, pharmaceutical technician and uh, pharmaceutical assistants unapo unapo m- 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 mpa ile certificate of uh, the registration enlistment or enrollment ni lazima ufile information hizi or sometimes you may be asked kwamba uh, personal particulars ambazo uh, registrar lazima aziingize kwenye register uh, kumtambulisha au kumidentify uh, pharmaceutical personnel ambaye amemregister kwenye kwenye register ni zipi ni lazima utaje his or her name and address be the date of registration 
see his or her qualification and the status of his registration and the last one is such other particulars that the council may be directed kuna baadhi ya information ambazo council inaweza inaweza ikatoa maelekezo maelekezo ili huyo mtu aweze kujaziwa anaweza mtoka na qualification nyingine labda za ziada kama ni pharmacia lakini kuna kitu kingine ambacho anacho kinahusiana na mambo ya pharmaceutical uh, for, 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 uh, personnel. Kondo, you know, such as particular such other particulars as the council may di may direct uh, this is the end of our session this is the end of our session the second session which we are talking about uh, requirements for uh, enlistment uh, registration and the enrollment of pharmaceutical personnel uh, next time we shall see a uh, session number three where we are going to talk about uh, registration and the license of premises for pharmacy uh, business. Uh, let me call it a day. Thank you.